Hey guys, Fred and Sheila McCoy, Hatfield McCoy Museum, fredmccoy.com. Sheila's behind the camera. Hi guys, hope you're having a great morning. We are back on track. We are, this is gonna be a Hatfield McCoy video. video. Mm -hmm. Back on track. This is a Thursday. Sheila's starting a, a live feed, mm -hmm. talking. Talking Thursdays. Talking Thursdays. So every Thursday night, at eight o'clock, uh -huh. Sheila and I will go live. We fixed the little room upstairs. Somebody sent us some mics, so we're hoping that works and y'all can hear better. Sorry yeah. about the last one. So sorry, guys. We're learning. Yeah. Right now, you guys are wondering, what in the world is he doing in front of that? Because <laughs> we've got a whole lot of new viewers mm -hmm. since I first got this in last year. Yeah. This is my casket one day. And I'm, I'm proud of it. I think it's beautiful and fitting because the Marine Corps is one of my most prized. A guy called the other day from a Marine Corps military magazine mm -hmm. and asking about my accomplishments, my most important accomplishment. And I even said this when I was living in sin. I even said this all my life. Mm -hmm. My most important accomplishment in life has been born again and saved exactly. by Jesus. My second one would be uh, been a United States Marine. I spent 40 years as a police officer, but this is my only three years as a Marine, but at 17 years old, it does something to you. Now, <clears throat> why am I in front of a casket? Guys, I'm gonna tell you something. Get a lot of views, and we'll talk about it tonight. It's one of the subjects, but when you gonna quit talking about this, this death? Well, if you're afraid of death, I'm sorry. You, you've got a surprise coming because it's coming. There ain't none of us getting out of this world alive. Yeah. Are we shield? Nope, we certainly are not. None of us getting out of this world alive. So accept it, deal with it, make the best of it, and because uh, <coughs> this is where we're going to end up. Right. <coughs> we're going to talk about it later. This, <coughs> this is going to be Hatfield McCoy. I'm wanting yeah. to drift, but I won't. Okay, good job. Let's talk about yellow journalism. Let's talk about how the stories of the Hatfield and McCoy feud got so mixed up during those years. Okay. How did the history come out that we took a a villain and turned him into a hero and a hero and turned him into a villain. How did that happen? Hmm. See, Devil Lance Hatfield deserted the Civil War and when he deserted along with his men, right. my great-great-grandfather Uriah McCoy and Randall McCoy were both taken captive. POW. Spent the next two years in the toughest POW camp there was. The worst one there was, yeah. And, um, but in the in turn, after the feud and everything happened, Randall McCoy turned out being coming up with the short end of the stick. We've tried to correct that throughout the years, and we've tried to explain how it happened, how that could happen that, <clears throat> well, it happened just exactly like what happened the other day. Exactly. There couldn't be a better model that God could give us to show what happened. Okay. You know, when only one party talks to the media, that's the only thing they get. That's the only thing they got to go on. Only thing they've got to go on. And a lot of people in that day was tickled to death to, if they come in from New York or they come from Chicago or they come from somewhere, <coughs> hold on, yep. to do a story. Just a second. <laughs> I got me some spray. We're gonna update you on our doctor's appointment, what happened tonight. That's on Talking Thursdays. But if you traveled a long distance to interview Randall McCoy and you get to his house and all of a sudden Randall McCoy, he won't answer his phone, lets it go to voicemail mm -hmm. or doesn't open his door back in those days. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit upset. They wanted to talk to this man. They wanted to see what his views was on Devil Ants Hatfield killing his children. Randall and Sarah was too busy burying their children. They were devastated. Yeah, they were mourning the loss. Five kids, three tied to trees and stripped down naked and killed, and two more <clears throat> shot as they run out of a burning cabin, mm -hmm. senseless. He wouldn't talk to them. He didn't give them a story, so they would go across the river into West Virginia, and Devil Ants welcome them in. Yeah, I'll tell you what happened. And Devil Ants tell them his story, and yeah. wasn't always true. Wasn't, usually wasn't true at all. 
I've got to watch. Sheila's working mm -hmm. with me, and I want her to tell me. I don't want to. I don't want to go back like I was. We've got a <clears throat> a whole lot of videos that Sheila's got ready to. They're already uploaded. All yeah. she has to do is hit public. Yeah. We can't do it because in those videos I get irate. I name people. Yeah, they're on. I use language that's not proper. Yeah. So we've got to redo all of these videos. They're good history, good true history, and it will be forthcoming. But we got to sit down and Good redo enough. them in a better way. In a better way, the history's the same, but we're not going to be naming people. We're not going to be. Good you job. know, sometimes we we have no choice in, during the few years, or, or even today with titles. We we may name titles because <clears throat> we have to have some lead way. But I'm mm -hmm. not directly going to attack anybody like I used to do, even Good. though. Good job. She's not going to tell me. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you, baby. I love you. I'm going to start saying God is great. Whenever I get ready to say something that's improper, I just say God is great and let it go from there. Wonderful. Guys, uh, here, here's your story. Lexington Herald leader. Body found in the area where man shot at I-75 drivers. KSP working for identity. KS Kentucky State Police troopers have located a body in the vicinity of exit 49 in Lowell County and detectives are working to confirm identity. It's got the trooper's name, which is a public relations officer for the Kentucky yeah. State Police. Yeah. Oops. And uh, it's okay. That's the story mm -hmm. that the Herald Leader, our paper here in Lexington, Kentucky, mm -hmm. has got. Mm -hmm. Troopers have located a body. Now that's going to come in again later on. <clears throat> How the stories came about during the Hatfield McCoy feud. Best example we could ever have is what we got now. Mm -hmm. You know, too bad there wasn't videos back then where Randall could show or people could show what happened to these boys and his daughter. Mm -hmm. What no videos though. No. Watch our video. I'm not going to, Sheila's not going to throw it in there. We've That video is all over the internet, so I'm sure if you're on our channel, you've probably watched yeah. the video where Sheila points me in that direction of the holler. Yeah. That's where it's coming from. It's hard to smell down there because you've got a swirl. Scent goes up. That's why they could smell it better way up there on the hill. They could smell it good up there because it was coming up the hill. Down mm. there where we're at, the wind's blowing. She had a time. She's she's the best. Aw, thank you. And uh, watch our video, and you'll see who who finds the body. Not going to harp on that. Yeah. But it does have relevance. <laughs> it's got relevance to Devil Ants Hatfield and Randall McCoy. It's got relevance to the Hatfield and McCoy feud. <clears throat> Imagine this KSP public relations officer and KSP commissioner as. Devil Ants Hatfield. Devil Ants Hatfield. This public relations officer says that the troopers found the body. This police commissioner, Kentucky State Police Commissioner, says that the troopers and the McCoys arrived at the same time. They found the body together. Sorry guys, that's okay. that's the way our phones <clears throat> I thought I muted it, but evidently I didn't. That's all right. Imagine Fred and Sheila McCoy as Randall and Sarah McCoy back in the day. Randall and Sarah was burying their children. No time to talk. Fred and Sheila, after we had that live feed over there, and somebody had sent Sheila a, a picture showing what was at the end of that video, we, we, I think we were both in shock. I've been out of it for five years. Uh, yeah. We'll get to that. But uh, Thanks, friend, for sending me that. But when she got know. that picture... We made a beeline, didn't we, baby? Yes, as fast as we could go within reason, you know. We made limits. a beeline <laughs> to come home where she could get on the computer and blur <sighs> Mr. Couch's body out. Oof. Last thing we want to do is disrespect anybody. Oh, sure. Thousands of calls. We it's couldn't answer. Guys. Uh, it, it, blo it busted my thing on my phone it says uh voice, voice boxes full i don't know how many it holds yeah but they were they were hundreds yeah. hundreds and we couldn't call everybody back who do you call how do you pick and choose right 
So we just figured state police were going to do the right thing. They took our statement. They knew what we found. They knew how long we'd been searching. Mm -hmm. They knew what it was all about. <coughs> we figured they'd do the right thing. And it was all well. Nobody said, Sheila, come up here. We want to have a press conference with you. We want you here with our press conference. So nobody said that. One's us. And again, we don't have TV. We, we watch YouTube and channels and get our news from there. So yeah. we, we didn't have local <clears throat> news until people started texting. But we're going on. It's all good. Thousands of calls. We, we were wore out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My back was hurting. Sheila's knee was hurting. We're going to discuss this later, guys, but we don't know. We don't know how we climbed over them trees so good. We don't know how we walked up and down them hills. We don't know how we... We don't know. What do you think? There's a transformation. I'm sorry. Yes, we didn't know. She's back there. <laughs> we, we do know. We oh, know. Yeah. We know yeah. now because after six days yeah. of walking in the woods where yeah. somebody may have a side on you, mm -hmm. it, it wakes you up. It, it makes you. We were eat up with ticks, <laughs> chiggers, oh, my Lanta. and turkey mites. Yes, as they, you can see. Are they still there? Yeah. My legs, <clears throat> ever, I'm covered. I'm covered. Sheila's the same way. I've got him on my Sheila. arm. Not as bad as oh, him, guys. Sheila the same way. But, oh, those little things uh, itch like crazy. Traumatized and saddened. Yes. By what we saw. Yeah. We were. If you're a human being and you see things like that and yeah. you, that don't affect you, you're not human. Now, <laughs> that's a good way of putting it because after 40 years of seeing that, I had gotten dehumanized i had gotten i had changed mm. after 40 years of working domestics 40 years of everybody hating each other everybody wanting the other one arrested as long as you arrest somebody else's family it's okay just leave mine alone and if you don't do it like that sometimes people don't think a lot of you and they think well the stories of the few years were told by one side Exactly. That was Devil Answer's side. Oh, sure. He's the only one talking. He's the one telling the news media and book writers what what he wanted to tell them. Randall McCoy wasn't concerned. He, he was he was in mourning. Mourning. Him and Sarah. Oh, sure. The newspapers only got one side of the story, and that was the side of the. And I had a word there, and Sheila says, "I don't like that word." I said, "Okay, guide me, lead me, show me." Show me what I'm supposed to do here. Aww. So I cut the word out. But Thank you. Devil Ants was, uh, they were getting Devil Ants' story. That's right, one-sided. Devil Ants was much like today with Sheila and I and the Kentucky State Police. Now, guys, there's some good troopers out there. I worked, I was naming them the other day. I meant to say Mike Ashley. Mm -hmm. Trooper Mike Ashley's one of the troopers I, I worked with over the years that was admirable and uh, no. I enjoyed working with. So, mm -hmm. And there's some good troopers. We met some good troopers the other day. Sure did. We're, we're not speaking about the entire Kentucky State Police when we talk. We had two mis, mis communications. Okay. Mistruths. I can, it's a mistruth. When okay. you say you done this or that, good. It's. I'm sorry. Yeah. I won't call it the L word. Okay. But okay. it is a mistruth. Okay, oh, that's good. And uh, when when this public relations officer said the KSP <clears throat> found the body and they didn't correct it, and he knows better, that's a mistruth. Yeah. When the commissioner of the state police says they found it at the same time together, and uh, that's and they're searching together, that's a mistruth. Yeah. This post is still up on the public relations officer's Facebook page. It's never been removed. It's never been corrected. That Sheila and Fred never been corrected by him or the Kentucky State Police Commissioner. What does it take a big man to apologize? It's a little thing. It's a little bitty thing. I'm sorry. Or made a mistake. A little bitty thing, but boy, it means a lot sometimes to people. <clears throat> Bottom line is, 100 years from now, and I'm almost done, 100 years from now, mm -hmm. when somebody is researching the I-75 sniper mass shooting. See, anything over three people shot is considered a mass shooting. 
What they had on I-75 over there was a mass shooting mm -hmm. with a sniper. That's a that's gonna be a big story <clears throat> yeah. someday. someday. Hundred years from now, somebody's doing research and they say, "Hey, let me see about this," and they Google it or whatever the search engine is at that time that's bigger than Google. Right. And it says <clears throat> troopers. Kentucky State Police Troopers have located the body in the vicinity of 49. That's the story they're going to get. That's the story they're going to get. When you read these stories about Devil Lance Hatfield doing this, doing that, that's the stories they got back then. And that's the stories you guys read today. Sometimes you got to do better research. you got to look into it. Now, if they go on down eight or ten days later or something, they see... Fred and Sheila getting a check from the mayor of London that donated that money himself that we, we wasn't aware of at the time. And I'm going to plug him every time I can because that's an outstanding fella to me. I don't know him from Adam. Right. Except what he did. And when we're trying to find the name on that check to call and thank him, <clears throat> it comes back to the guy that we just left over there and yeah. didn't even know it. We didn't even know that he was the man. <clears throat> thank just you, like sir. I. Go ahead, babe. I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that so much. And it's just like Fred being outspoken on things like this. I'm outspoken. I don't think I'm supposed to, just because I'm trying to live right now, I don't think I'm, I am I can't still speak my piece. I, I've just got to do it in a better, more diplomatic way. Exactly. I don't think there's nothing wrong with calling people out when there's something there that's not right. But 100 years from now, when they look at this article... They're going to see that the Kentucky State Police found Mr. Couch. They go down to their eight or ten pages, and they're going to see Fred and Shelly getting a check. And speaking of that check, guys, somebody was commenting on that, and they said, why is the check made to Sheila for? Oh, Lord. The check was made to Sheila because they asked us, who we asked me, who you want the check made to? And I said, make it to Sheila. Guys, Fred McCoy didn't find that body. My wife and the good Lord found that body. We found him. He guided together. her with her nose and those birds to that body. I merely put eyes on it. And he probably let me put eyes on it first so my wife wouldn't be devastated even more than she is by walking up on it and finding it. So the good Lord probably done that. You be the judge. Is this the true story or not? Is this true history or not truth is sheila with the guidance of our heavenly father found mr couch guys we have a lot of old hatfield mccoy history we're redoing it like i said from the beginning we're going to redo them because they're not proper language and different things I, some of you that's followed us you know sometimes i can sheila used to say i i got passionate i'm passionate i'm going to be passionate again passionate about god Good passionate about our heavenly father i'm gonna i'm gonna praise him every chance i get I'm sorry if some of you don't like it. I'm sorry. And I hope some of you hold me too far. I read those those comments over there and I just get, uh, it's just sweet. Oh, of course, oh. you run up on some, but the sweet ones you can't replace. And that's what I want because, see, that's how I drifted. I watched people's lives. I watched <clears throat> ministers mostly, ministers and, and Christians, and I watched their lives. And Guys, we don't quit being Christians when we walk out of that church house on Sunday afternoon, we don't stop. We're still got to be Christians on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I've got to do that myself. Mm -hmm. And you guys got to hold me to it. Sheila's got to hold me to it or I'll start drifting and I'll change and I'll go back like I was. I don't want to do that. We don't want that. Everybody will help. <laughs> in those days, in the old days, Fred was insulting. Fred was mm -hmm. bad language and Fred... Just a smidge. I had some good mm -hmm. corrections, Sheila and I did, and evidence to prove our case, but right. I presented them wrong. But It's present, all good. You're on the right track now, baby. I presented things in a way that God wouldn't have approved of. Exactly. So Sheila and I are going to get a do-over. We, you know, we you talked the other day about Mr. Couch and how sometimes people wish they had a do-over. And we're going to discuss some of that tonight about mm -hmm. different things. It may be enlightening. Every Thursday night, talking Thursdays mm -hmm. at 8 o'clock. See you there. They will be forthcoming. Please overlook the ones that's already posted on our channel. Please overlook the videos that we've already got out. 
and where I probably use some one thing I never I never do you'll never hear Fred Fred McCoy even back in the day you'll never hear I've never you know God had Ten Commandments for us and Lord of mercy those little Ten Commandments if we can't follow just ten little things and one of them is not use his name in vain Sheila says oh my lanta oh my lanta uh, he asked us not to use his name except yeah. in prayer yeah when you're surely praying. something as easy as that I hear people say these words I'd, I'd rather hear the F word not me would, well we don't want to hear none I don't want to hear any, don't hear any of them you don't we don't have to use God's name in vain he asked us not to can we not that little simple I'm not going to preach I'm sorry <laughs> you're good guys you're good. Uh, there's other words you can use besides curse uh, words guys this is uh, life is about death yeah. well, what are we going to when we leave here Yep. That's what's important. It's not what we do while we're here, but where are we going? Sheila and I have said for years, if you're a Christian, you don't start, if you're a Christian and really living it, you don't start living till you take that last breath yeah. and to miss Hinkle, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Joseph's mother. Mm -hmm. We say we love you. Yeah. Uh, Sorry for your loss. And uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with God. Now, some people get on to us on these channels and they say, quit making a hero. Uh, we're not making a hero out of this man. He made a bad, bad mistake. He made it, yep. Uh, but that is that mother's son. That is, he made a bad mistake. We, we don't know what happened and we don't want to glamorize it. Terrible what he did. Exactly. But I like to give, I think we, we don't know what happened from the time he shot, and maybe that's why nobody died. Sheila and I don't know. We're not psychics. There's, we don't believe in psychic. We believe in the, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. But we don't know what he did from the time he left that sniper's nest and went over that hill. Right. We don't know how hard he prayed or the forgiveness he asked for or the torment he went through. And he, he may not have. We don't know. We but it's care. like Roseanne and all these people back there in a feud. Why do we have to say bad things about people that we have no evidence or know anything about? Why would we rather talk bad? I don't know. He may have went over that hill and said the best prayer that's ever been pray prayed in, in the world to our, our, our God. The only, no well, the only person who knows what went on is the good Lord. It's between him and the good that's Lord. Right. And Good, the good Lord knows exactly. That's right. That's right. What happened? And you know the old story. And I know, I know the story on on that word. We know what the Bible says about that word. Mm -hmm. But we also want know what Christ did on the cross that yep. day. We know that He told Him, "Today you'll be with Me in Paradise." So, you know, uh, we'll leave it up to the good Lord. So it's between Him. But and we're going to discuss Lord. that some more tonight. Uh, yeah. We're going to discuss, some people says, when you going to let it go? When you going to quit talking? Probably not. Or at least not until he tells us to. Why do we have to let it go? If Joseph was here and could speak, he would tell these young kids out there. And these young people that's thinking about doing this or that, he would say, guys, it's not worth it. Don't do it. It's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Sorry, didn't mean for it to be this long, but you, just gotta, you don't have to watch. When, when our, I'm, I don't mean that in a rude way. Okay. I don't mean it. I love you all. Thank you for watching. But I'm saying, I don't want to cut me short on what I want to say because there may be some kid out there that's contemplating something mm -hmm. and it may, this Joseph Couch may be an example to him. Instead of, he's gone. He's no longer here. But we don't have to dog him. Let's use him for an example. Let's let him use himself for an example. And I have a feeling he wouldn't mind. Okay. Don't do as I did, he would be saying. Don't let this anger or whatever get to you to this point. Love you guys. Hey, let me hold on. Don't you turn that <laughs> off. Hi, guys. Hope you're having a great morning. <laughs> 
We love each and every one of you and thank you so much for all the kind words that you've given us and all the advice you've given us. And thanks for still sticking around as we learn all of this stuff and we're trying to get new equipment and everything. So hopefully we'll get there, I'm sure. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Thank you, guys.